Yo, yo, yo. This is Chris Player here. And, you know, I'm having a beer, waiting for my friend. Going to meet up with a friend here later on. It's Friday evening here in Japan. Uh, just after 5 o'clock, like 5.10. So, you know, I had a little bit of time to, to kill. While I'm waiting for my buddy to show up. Japan soccer game or something in the back. Japan, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but soccer is, is big time popular in Japan. There's two sports that are most popular in Japan. One is baseball, right? You know, American style baseball. In fact, Japan, that's the most popular sport by far. People say that the flag of Japan should be the, the a baseball instead of the rising sun or the sun image. And then uh, the other one is soccer. Anyway, back to the topic I was just talking about. Um, I, you know, I have some time now because, you know, get a little time to kill before I meet my friend here at around 5.30. Right now it's 5.10 in Japan. He's going to be coming to this bar. So I thought, you know what, while I'm having a beer, I might as well do, some, do a live stream and help you guys out and, and add value. Good to see you, Harry. Harry, how's Australia, buddy? Uh, I really had a great trip. I remember meeting you in Perth. That was really awesome. So, again, anyway, good to see you guys. Who else is on here? Just waiting a little bit to get more people on, and then, I'll, then I will go into the main topic. What we're going to talk about here today is there's always a slowdown in sales in January and February. Always. However, I've got good news for you. The good news is this. You can actually kill it in January and February. You absolutely can. There are people who do it every year. And I've learned a lot, you know, because I've been in e since 2012. So 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay? So now seven years, right? This is, I'm going on my eighth year in e selling physical products. I've also, so in addition to running my own store, my own stores and selling on different platforms through the years. So I started off on Teespring, selling teasers on Teespring. I've done a lot of coaching and training since 2013 as well. So I, I, I've worked with a lot of different people and I've, and I've learned things, what works and what doesn't work to overcome the January, February slowdown. So let's first talk about what doesn't work. What doesn't work is discounting. Your normal year-round items. A year-round item would be like, for example, a t-shirt, right? T-shirts are typical year-round items, okay? Discounting a, a t-shirt is not going to make any difference in sales whatsoever. And trust me, I have tried, so have tons of people, okay? Discounting a cap, right? Discounting some sort of item that you would buy year-round doesn't make a difference. And the reason why is people spend a lot of money at Christmas time, okay? A lot of people accumulate a lot of debt on their credit cards. Okay, that's the reality. They accumulate a lot of credit card debt. And, and they, even though they may like that particular t-shirt, or they may like that particular hat, or they may like that particular item that they can buy any time of year and would use any time of the year, a, a 30% or even, for, even a 50% discount is not going to motivate them to buy. And by offering a discount, you're just screwing yourself. Because what happens there is the few people who, who will buy, or if, let's just say you're selling t-shirt for $25 plus shipping, $30. You mark it down to say fifteen dollars plus shipping, right? So you twenty dollars. So it's a massive discount, right? Thirty-three percent. That is not going to motivate someone who is hurting for money to pull out their credit card or go to the PayPal and and and, and take what little discretionary money they have at this time and go and buy that item. This is not going to, okay? Because they don't need it right now. They can wait, and they, and they, also, they also realize that. There will be other future discounts. Right? They, they realize that. In fact, I remember when we, back when we were doing a lot of discounting, right? People would write, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to wait for the Black Friday discount or the next discount, the summer sale discount or whatever. They would literally write that. They say, it's a cool looking shirt or cool looking cap or whatever, but I'm, you know, I'm a little short on cash right now, so I'm not going to go buy that right now. I'll just wait for the next sale. Okay. So what I learned, what I learned from that, and that wasn't just me experiencing that. It, it was... I actually had some students of mine, coaching students, who when, I, when that started to happen, this is several years ago, you know, I said, hey, I'm experiencing this on my, on my fan page, right? In comments, can you go look at your discount items? Are you getting the same kind of, and, and sure enough, some people were getting those type of comments. So what I learned is that in January and February, 
the few people who are motivated to buy an item like a t-shirt cap and, and things that they can buy and would, would buy all year round will pay the regular price. And you're not going to motivate someone who's hurting for money because they overspent at Christmas because of traveling with their families, buying Christmas presents with a discount. You're not going to overcome that objection. But I just said you can crush it in January and February and March. And you absolutely can. And there's one way. I, I, I've learned the way and it really works. And this is it. You need to create an urgency for them to buy. How do you create an urgency for them to buy? You create a need, right? Well, what do people need at in January, February, and March. It'd be interesting to see if you guys can come come come, up, come right down in, in the in the chat there. What what would people need? Absolutely need at this time of year. Think about it. Just think about it for a second, right? What items would they potentially need this time of year? What items do you think? I can think of something. Obviously, one thing is jackets, right? Jackets. Uh, warm hats, scarves, I don't know, gloves, boots, right? The list goes on and on and on, right? These are items that they need now. And they're items that they will use during the summer, during the winter season. Winter, winter prods, I don't know, yeah, winter products, I think, right? So, these are items they're going to use right now. So, yeah, focus on items that they can use right now. Then you overcome the objection because they're going to say to themselves, okay, you know what? Yes, I don't have a lot of cash, but that, that's a really awesome jacket. I, I love that jacket. I need a jacket now anyway. I'm freezing my butt off. I'm going to buy. And... Guys, people who do this, who focus on winter items this time of year, they, they, you can have, any, I've, had, I've had people in my course in Mastermind Group who said, who said January last year, January 2018 was actually better than, than December 2018, if you can believe that. Christmas is supposed to be the best time of year, but they actually had some people in my group that actually did better in January. And then here's another thing that's really, really cool about focusing on winter products. A lot of these winter products are not very commonly sold year round, okay? And, the, and, and a lot of people, this, this strategy, it's amazing. It seems so, seems so obvious once I say it, but 95% uh, of Shopify sellers, uh, small-time e-com sellers, don't even think of this. They keep pushing the same stuff year-round. They don't even think to themselves, I need to be seasonal with what I offer. It's astonishing if you think about that because all you have to do is look at department stores and what they do, they bring out seasonal items. If you, if you, if you think to yourself, you're in a physical products business, a physical products business, right? We are no different than a department store from that sense. Of course, we're, I suggest you focus on one niche and don't be a department store. You don't want to be a department store, right? You can't compete with those big brands. The way you compete is you become niche and you focus and you become the master of that niche and you get to know that niche and you become the community for that niche, right? That's what I've done in the beer niche. I'm having a beer as well. But the, the idea of offering winter seasonal products is, is, is massive. And by the way, while I'm on it, right, I did the same thing in the summer last year. Our big item in the summer last year was flip-flops. We sold a lot of flip-flops, and we, we had a decent August because of it, right? Now, unfortunately, the flip-flops that we had were not the all-over print time, and they just had a small little design. But I, I, I proved the concept that flip-flops can sell. So my next, my net, my future, my this summer, this coming summer, I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to encourage some of the POD suppliers. Actually, we have a, in my Ecom Van, of course, the Mastermind Group, we have a supplier that is exclusive for us. They don't work with anyone else outside of my group members. And I've already t talked to them about bringing out all over print flip-flops. Because I think that, that would kill it in the summer. But anyway. My, I probably shouldn't have said that. Someone's going to go, oh, my God, thank you, Chris, for the idea. But that's all right. The market's huge. Oh, then, 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 let me actually bring something else to the area. People worry so much about the competition. They worry about market saturation. They worry, oh, my God, the market's saturated. I can't sell. The market's saturated. Guys, it's a huge market out there. It's huge. 
you can get in any given niche, you can break in there. Okay, there's no such thing as a, as a saturated niche. And actually, a big competitive niche, it's got a ba- massive pie. Well, you, as a independent small business e-com seller, right? How much revenue and profit would you need to make to make a good living? Okay, let's, let, you know what? Let's not go for, I was gonna, about to use an example, say you want a million dollars profit, which is totally possible, guys. People do it, okay? But let's just, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it more real for most people. Most people, right, would be happy with $10,000 a month in profit, right? The majority of people watching this video would be happy with $10,000 in profit. Now, all right, I, I wasn't prepared to talk about this. This is some of my conversation just led into this. So let me, let me do some, let me get my calendar out here. My, my, cal- my calculator here. Let's do some calculations. Now let's assume a 15% profit margin, okay, which is actually low. 20 to 30% is normal, but let's just assume 15%. Okay? All right. Now, all right, so let's assume 15% profit margin. Okay? Now, at that margin, let's say you're doing $2,000 a day in sales, which by the way, $2,000, let's say you're averaging $25 per order, which is not a lot, by the way. You can get up to $30 or $40 average order value, but let's say $25 order value. Okay, that's 80 orders a day. Okay? All right, $2,000 times 0.15. That's $300 a day, okay? That would be $15,000 a month. So you don't even need that much. Okay, let's just, by the way, these are being, I'm being very conservative on these. 15% profit margin is a very low number, and on top of an average, average order value of $25 is also a low number. You can, there's numerous ways up the order value, okay? But let's, I'm, just, I'm just trying to give you a realistic idea of how this is actually totally possible and opening your eyes to this, okay? So let's say $1,500 in sales a day, okay? Divided by 25 for our order value, okay? So we're now offering, we're just talking about a mere 60 sales a day. 60. It, 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 I mean, yes, it, it, it can be somewhat challenging, but it's not like, a, like an outrageous huge number right and once you get a couple of products that are moving you can do 60 sales like that all right so 1500 times 0.15 225 okay times 30 220 uh, sorry well uh, actually you know what i i, I just realized i messed up 300 dollars would be 9,000. my bad my bad i got sort of carried away with myself wait Three hundred dollars times thirty. Yeah, it would be nine thousand. Okay. So yeah, sorry. You need two thousand sales. My bad. My bad. Okay. Sorry about that. I just realized I made a mistake. So you need two thousand dollars in sales to get at nine thousand uh, um, dollars a month in 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 profit. Okay. That is assuming an order value of twenty five dollars and an order fifty percent profit. But let's assume that you upped up to twenty percent. Right. And let's just say you go for, for an average order value of $30. Let's go ahead and go on that. Say, we'll say uh, $2,000 in sales a day divided by, 30, divided by uh, $30. So 2000 divided by 30. Oh, sorry, 2000 divided by 30. 66 sales, okay? So again, totally doable. We talked about how 66 would be a doable number. And now we'll take 2000 and we do that by 20% profit. Now we're talking $400, right? So 2000 times 0.2 is 400, okay? So now you're looking at $1200. So I think we're looking at if you're looking between 15 to 20% profit, we're looking at $2000 in sales a day. To reach the point where you can make 9 to 12000 dollars a month in profit. Who thinks that is not doable? I just have, I just had a curious. I want to know. Go ahead and type into the uh, comment section if you don't think that that is a doable goal. And while I'm while I'm um, waiting for the response on that, hey Alexandria, how you doing, buddy? It's been a while since we talked. I'd love to connect, catch up. Harry, I already spoke to you. Josh, JD. Debo, Debochet, 
I always have trouble with your name. Uh, JD, it's uh, 5.30 here now, or 5, almost 5.30, 5.25. My buddy's going to be coming to the door any minute. I'm waiting for him. Uh, Clive, good to see you. Vladimir, good to see you. Pong, good to see you. Peter, good to see you. Ubi. Uh, Tor Torbrick. Seems doable. Guys, I'm telling you right now, $2,000 net sales is totally doable. Don't fool yourself. It's insurmountable. Now, I know some of you right now, where you are in your position right now in this business, $2,000 of sales would be would make you ecstatic, but it's totally doable, right? It's totally doable. And by the way, keep in mind, there's one thing. A lot of this, this business is about pushing seasonal stuff, right? So right now we're pushing winter stuff, but for example, you got, you got Mother's Day sales, you got Valentine's Day sales, you've got Father's Day sales, you've got Black Friday sales, you got Christmas sales. So, so it, it doesn't have to be $2,000 every day, because some days you could do, you'll do five, $6,000, and then after that sale period goes what goes away, or even ten thousand dollars sales, that's that sale period goes away. You may get five hundred dollars in sales. And, and, and that, by the way, don't freak out about that. That's pretty normal. But the point is, you want to average two thousand, guys. If you can average two thousand dollars in sales, you have a very good chance of making ten. Okay, by the way, I just said nine to twelve. But then, forgive me, I didn't actually prepare this. This whole thing just led to this conversation. Let's just say roughly ten thousand dollars in profit. You can do that. Okay, so it's doable. Whoa, what happened there? Oh. So I just pushed the camera icon and switched it back the other way. Uh, Josh, how many stores do you run? Well, I have my beer store, which is more public, and I have another store, which is more private, but I don't reveal to the public because, you know, I've had a few issues with my beer store, but so many people ripped me off. But that's such a brand that's well known out there that I couldn't hide it anyway. But I'm involved in another one that's actually quite profitable, but. Trying to keep that as quiet as long as possible. And by the way, if you guys got value out of this, go to e. I'm going to put the link in this thread. Go to ecomvantage.com forward slash VIP. Okay? Ecomvantage.com forward slash VIP. I'll put the link in the thread. Sign up for Econ Vantage today. Join my mastermind, my course. Guys, people are getting results left and right. They are getting results. So, hope to see you in there soon. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. All right, guys. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video.